Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I am today bringing you another Freedom February look and it's this look here. I really, really love this. Um, my mascara is still not quite dry actually from finishing. This is a um, definitely a bold look, something that I might wear if I was going out, maybe something for Valentine's Day. So I may put this up on Valentine's Day, which would be quite nice, or just before. Um, I used the um, House of Glam Dolls um, Glam Academy, uh, this is a palette in Exotica doll, and um, I'm really, really loving this palette. I think it's so beautiful. The eye look I created, I'm really pleased with. I used um, this bright colour here, this one here, and this beautiful one here, and a bit of that in the, in the corner. And I even used this green just under the eye slightly, um, topped with some of the, the nice browns over here. So I'm really, really impressed with this look. I really like um, how it's turned out, I have to say. Anyway, so keep watching, and you'll see the rest of the video, um, and the tutorial coming next. Take care, guys. So, like yesterday, I am going to use the Freedom Press Powder and a large brush over the um, non-Freedom foundations that I'm wearing, just to set the foundation and the concealer. This is actually very, very nice. It's quite finely milled. It's quite soft. Um, I don't think it was very expensive either, so if you're looking for something translucent to set your makeup this is quite a fine powder and like I say I've used quite a lot of it that it was sort of, there was a wave in there and it said freedom so quite like that and it does work for my skin tone and I'm quite pale so and I don't get patchy towards the end of the day either which is really nice and as I showed you before I'm using the House of Glam Dolls uh, Exotica doll I really like the look of this palette I just can't get it I never can get them open that's it here we go um, and in here there is a sculpt powder so I'm going to use that to sculpt today might be slightly dark for me yeah it's a tiny bit dark but um, I'm going to use it anyway because it's there I'm only going to do just there today I think I will blend this out just so you know I'm not going to leave it unblended I just want to place it in first I'm not going all the way in with my contour today I'm just going to go down under the neck there's quite a lot of product on the brush even though I tapped it off I'm just going to go there and then I'm just going to blend it sort of backwards and up the same here I just want to blend this in a bit so different on here than it is in a mirror so it's not easy okay and I'm going to use a um, matte highlighter from the highlight palette because um, I really do like the matte highlighter in here it is sort of yellowy toned it's really nice I like it a lot and I'm just going to use that to highlight underneath so it just brings it out a bit more. And down my nose. And onto my forehead. Like I've said before, I don't like putting shimmer um, highlight in these places because it makes me look... I do put a little bit on the top of my lip when I want to, but um, it just makes me look a little bit sweaty, which I don't like. And today I'm going to use the Pro Highlight in Brighton. This is a stunning pinky silvery highlight. It's really pretty. Um, if I have the other one that's goldish. I don't really, it doesn't really suit me. I'm going to use that on tops of my cheeks today. Just to highlight. This is a very bam highlight. I don't know whether you can see that. Maybe not. Um, but it is really pretty. And again, I'm going to use the blush out of this palette. The um, sculpting powder is called Sculpt and the blush is called Mystery. And it's a stunning, I'll see if I can show you this colour here. It's like a stunning mauve toned rose pink. 
going to lightly pop that on the cheeks and I'll blend it out. Just put it on the apples. I don't want to put too much on. I liked the blush yesterday. It was really pretty. Yeah, I don't want to put too much on because I'm going for quite a bold lip. That's pretty. I like that. Um, you may notice that I don't do my brows very much, but they're very thick anyway. So um, if I had a little bit of wax, I'd probably put that through my eyebrows, but there isn't wax in here. Um, next up, I'm going to pop on the eyeshadow primer. I have to say I really rate this. It's the first time I used it yesterday. My eyeshadow stayed on all day. Um, yeah, I really liked it. I think it's quite comparable to some of my higher end ones. Um, yeah, definitely one that I would uh, repurchase. So if you're looking for a nice, cheap alternative to, say, um, Urban Decay, this is definitely a, a good one. I like that it comes with the doe for applicator. It makes it quite easy to get it in the places that you want it. I quite like um, today I'm going to put a little bit sort of under the eyelash. And just tap it in because actually I want it to stay under the eye as well so I'm just going to put a little bit under here having the dough for applicator makes that a lot easier than you know getting it from a tube or something or a, or a pot so that's good I'm just going to let that set a little bit I don't know whether anybody else does that but I always sort of let that set slightly and while I'm doing that I'm just going to add whoops I know this is not freedom but like I say, they have got one similar, so I'm sure it's the same. This is the Amazing Makeup Fixes Spray by Makeup Revolution. I just use it because I've used quite a lot of powder products. I like to sort of mute that down, and it also helps with the eyeshadow primer. So that's good. Um, so, first of all, we do have, like any other palette, we've got light, which is this colour here. Um, it looks like that's a theme throughout, to be honest. These are amazing colours. I'm really excited to try them. This one here is really beautiful. Look at that. That stunning feline, that's called. That's really pretty. And this one as well, sultry. I mean, that's so pretty. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go. Um, I think because I'm going to be wearing a bolder lip today, I'd like to try and go as neutral as possible. What I love is that these are the eyebrow um, quad here, but these could be used for crease colours, and I think that's really useful to have, is, is that sort of flexibility with, with the other things in the box. So I'm just going to lay down light as a base. And the same on this side. These are so pigmented, they're so pretty. And then I'm going to take my Zoeva brush and I'm going to take it into taupe. This colour here. It's quite dark, so I want to really tap it off, and I just really want to lightly put that in the crease. Just want to lay something down. That is so nice, isn't it? Look. I do find um, I'm learning every single day what's really good and and what looks nice and how to sort of how to build up my uh, my eyeshadows properly. You know, I don't always wear eyeshadows, believe it or not. I know it seems like I do because of this, but if I was going um, to work. Generally, I just use a cream shadow and I go out the door. And that's just because I like that sort of natural sheen to the eye. Just gives it that little bit of colour. And then, you know, we're good to go. So I'm just laying down that taupe colour in the crease. And then I'm going to take, I think the darker colour in here is called Bark, which is this dark brown. I'm just going to lay that in the edge of the crease here, just to deepen up my eye socket. And I'm just gonna lay that in first and then I'll use a blending brush to pull it through. So 
I don't know if you can see, I just put it in the edge. I'm not using this because this has got product on, but I'm going to use a fluffy clean blending brush from L&Y, which is one of these ones. These are the very fluffy ones. Um, and just pulling that through the crease. So it sort of graduates from this edge and moves it through while sort of blurring the edges that you've created. They are nice and blendable, as you can see, we're sort of blending nicely on the eye. I like that, that's really pretty. Oh, what are we going to go for? I mean, there's so many choices. I think... This is a hard one. I'm really struggling with what to choose because there's so. this is a really pretty palette. Um, it's definitely one that I would take away with me. There's so many looks that you could do. You can do bold, you could do colourful, you can do neutral. And I, as I'm going to go for sort of a neutral look, I'm wondering whether to use this one, Haze. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, what I think I might do is I'm going to use this feline colour and I'm just going to use it on the sort of midway to the edge just to see what that looks like. Oh, that is nice. Just using it midway though, because I want to put that brighter colour. Sort of maybe, yeah, from from this side without going into the corner all the way to the edge. So using feline. I've kept the um, little plastic sheet in the mirror so that it, and I've sort of turned it so that it's mirroring what's there. So I can then tell you which colours it is. Um, it doesn't say it on the packaging, it just says it on the little plastic sheet, but I don't mind that. This is such a pretty colour, it's like a pink with a gold sheen in it, it's really pretty. Um, and it's great sort of to do, to give dimension to the eye, for sure. So just putting that all the way from there to there. And then I'm going to take that lovely colour salt tree, I mean it's so beautiful, it's a lovely cranberry colour, reminds me of Star Violet from MAC quite a lot and burlesque from Makeup Geek. It's got that sort of lovely burgundy colour to it and I'm just putting that in the outer edge. Putting it out of feed. That is such a pretty colour, isn't it, guys? That is so nice. Let me go on this side. It's building up nicely as well. Like it goes on top of that other one really prettily. Builds up the colour really nicely. I feel like that other one was a really good bottom layer for it as well. Like it just shines through the gold in it. That's so nice. And then I'm just going to wipe that down. And I'm going to use that beautiful colour Haze. Which is a really lovely champagne -y bright colour. And that's going to go right at the end here. So we're sort of graduating into the dark colour. Like so. That is so brightening. So lovely. Oh, that's so nice. I like this palette. I really like this palette. I think this would suit all skin tones. I think the blush and the, even the sculpting powder just on the right side for any skin tone. I think you could probably go quite, quite a deep tick skin tone with that. There we go. I'm just taking that right into the outer corner, the inner corner, sorry. That's so pretty. Um, and then I'm going to take another little wee brush here and um, I'm going to take the highlight colour, Starlight, and I'm just going to use that on the inner corner just to brighten it up that little bit more. Can you see the difference? I'm going to spread it in here. Can you see? That's so, so, so pretty. I love it. Just going to blend everything together now because I don't want there to be any harsh edges. There we go. That's a bit better. It's almost like an ombre effect going from the really bright to the pink gold to the, to the nice cranberry colour. I really like that. That's so pretty. That's definitely an eye look that I prefer. Like, I love warm 
brightening, shimmery looks. They really draw my attention in. And then I'm going to take this lovely olive green here and I'm going to use that under the eye as a pop of colour. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to sniff. But as if you're a watcher of my videos, you'll know that I suffer terribly from runny nose syndrome when I'm doing my makeup. So I've just popped that green under the eye and I'm just going to take a little bit of the dark brown bark and I'm just going to do that sort of halfway on top of that green. Just to give the eye some definition. This is a really, really pretty look. I'm so excited by it. There we go. And I think I'm going to use a um, liquid eyeliner today because I haven't for a while. And I'm probably going to do a flick if I can. Let's see if I can do it on camera. You know me. Give anything a go. Right, so I'm going to just go in starting there. I've got it all in my eyelashes. So draw the flick first. I think if you're going to do a, um, a flick, draw the flick first. And then join it up with the rest of the product that's on the brush. I found that to be the easiest way to do a cohesive and very pointy winged eyeliner. Um, I really like that actually. This is that PS Love eyeliner. But I know that Freedom do do them and I did buy one. And I have to say, I've just done it the wrong way, haven't I? I have to say, it was very sore. It really hurt my eyes. Um, the brush was too too much for me. Right, just starting on the outer edge again. And drawing the triangle and just painting that in. I honestly don't think I could do a winged liner if I didn't do it this way. I just started it the opposite way by mistake. Whoops. So, join that up now. This is such a good eyeliner. It was only a pound from Primark in the PS Love range. And it was great. But this is Freedom February, so I don't want to give it too much love. I just want to point it out that it's a good one. And there we go. And then um, some mascara again. This is not Freedom, but I do want to purchase the Freedom lengthening one because... I think they're the same. I think they're, they're definitely a dupe. I've got, I think they've got the same brush, everything. So I definitely recommend it. I've got a feeling my puppy's upstairs. My dog is upstairs. I think he probably needs a wee, which is why he's now upstairs. So just using the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. Again, this isn't Freedom. Sort of heavy breathing down the camera now. <laughs> oh, this is cute. I really like this makeup look. It's so brightening in the corner of the eye there, but it's still warm and sort of definitely a look that you'd wear in the autumn. Just popping that on the lower lash line. Lower lash line on the lower lashes. I always use the product that's not on the brush, like the last bit of product, because otherwise it just it clumps up. And I don't like clumpy mascara, particularly. Oh, oh, there we go. I knew that was going to happen. So that is the eye look done, and finishing it off with a Freedom lipstick in Pro Red One O Eight Expression. That is a super creamy lipstick, but it's sort of sheer, like it's not not as bold. It's not a bold red, it's sort of a cherry red. Yeah, I love that. Anyway, thank you so much. 
Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying Freedom February and comment down below if you have anything else to add. I really look forward to seeing you in my next video, guys. Take care.